Our first large sacrifice as a married couple emptied our account. Our rental properties couldn't be rented for six months. And I thought I wasn't hearing God. I went anointed them with oil. I break the, broke the principalities. I, I bound the spirits, renounced the generational curses. I'm like, why is this happening to me? You must understand, it's not that the fire brought the vipers. The vipers were always there. It's just the fire made them uncomfortable. They've always been lurking there. It's just they've been comfortable in your life. But until you started to build fire, hell started to become uncomfortable. They could no longer just live in your life, around your life. They started to become tormented and irritated. And hell rises because it feels threatened by you. Fire did not create the snakes. Fire exposed the snakes. There are people who get saved and they say, my life was bad, but it wasn't that bad until I got saved. And when I got saved, hell broke loose. I lost my job. I lost my friends. Everybody turned against me. My friend, what happened is when you got on fire, vipers got nervous. Vipers got exposed. But the most amazing thing that I want to encourage you with today is not that you get them exposed. And maybe some of you say, so what's the benefit of burning for God? The benefit of burning for God is this. Not only that it provokes them, is you have a place to drop the viper into. You can't drop your viper in my fire pit. You have to have your own fire pit. You can't drop what's attacking you on the outside into your pastor's fire. You have to have your own flame to throw it into. And the reason why many people are going from deliverance to deliverance is because they have no fire in their own life. Because to walk in dominion, you have to have a flame to throw the scorpion into. To walk in dominion, you have to have a flame to throw the snake into. You have to have a flame to throw that depression into, that nightmare into, that sexual dream into, that addiction to pornography into. When you build a fire, snakes come out, but you have a place to drop those snakes into. God never created you for deliverance. God created you for dominion. God did not create you to walk and need deliverance. The Bible says in the beginning God said be fruitful and multiply and have dominion. The Bible says through the gift of righteousness and the abundance of grace we reign in life. The reason we need deliverance is because we didn't walk in dominion. Deliverance is a means to an end. The end is, dom is dominion. Deliverance is not the goal. Deliverance is not what you should seek. Victory. Dominion. Discipleship. Deliverance job starts everything. But if you don't have a fire, you won't walk in dominion. If you don't have a fire, you cannot fight back. Because when you get delivered, those demons leave. Three days later, they come back on the outside and they start harassing you. Those nightmares will come back on the outside like Pharaoh and say, come back to me. I'm still inside. They will lie to you. And if you don't have a flame, you'll run back to the church and say, pastor, deliver me. But if you have a fire, you say, devil, you tormented me long enough. You tormented my family long enough. I'm against you in Jesus' mighty name. I come against you by the blood of Jesus Christ. Get out! Depression, get out! Nightmares, get out! When the devil moves chairs in your room, comes in to intimidate and breaks different things, you tell devil, put it back and get out of this house. This is not your property anymore. But if you're not on fire, you can't fight back. You say, oh, the devil came. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Oh, somebody cast a spell on me. Pastor, pray for me. That's fine if you are just beginning as a Christian. But I'm speaking to soldiers right now. If you are bitten by a snake right now, 
if you're tormented by an unclean spirit, if generational curses like vipers stuck their teeth inside of your soul and bleeding the living lights out of you and you feel like you're losing and the voices of the enemy are whispering in one ear and the other and you feel like you are losing right now your spiritual life. You feel like there's an attack on your life. You're losing your spiritual appetite. There's an attack of lack on your life. You, you're feeling drawn away from the church. You don't want to be in a community anymore and you're recognizing as you're listening to me right now, this is more spiritual than natural. I cannot explain this. This is more demonic. If you have fire in your life, all you have to do is shake it off. All you have to do is rebuke it. All you have to do is repent for the sin you did not repent and then right after repentance get up from your knees and say, devil come here. Go! That's it. You say, don't get out. And you get angry at him and you tell him to leave and he will run with the tail between his legs. Why? Because you have the authority and because the fire that exposed him is the fire that will kill him.